Mites. It is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Minecraft Let's Play video. And today, Mites, we are continuing our Texture Pack Tour series once again on the... Can you guess it? Uh, I dropped my phone. Oopsie, I'm sorry if you heard that. It is the Steampunk Texture Pack. Now, I actually do love a bit of Steampunk, and um, I'm a big fan of history, basically. And the Steampunk during that area was one of my favorite times of history but let's get on to it so much as you can see we have diamond emerald gold iron redstone lapis coal and once more we have last but not least quartz now the majority of them right here like the the ores in the overworld um seem to be pretty much like um stone blocks with um chunks of it we got chunk we have like um little bits of um redstone right there sticking out with the gold giant chunks it looks like when you mine this it looks like you should at least get about uh about five diamonds and five emeralds honestly that vary in size not just on um, the single one itself and the blocks look like the they looks like they have golden edges also um even the gold it looks um gold and gold honestly except the iron the iron i like this touch how iron and gold are really comparable ores in the games in general just like diamond and emerald um they added like the stuff itself like an edge for iron, iron, and gold and gold, even though the, the rest of them have um, the edges. Except for coal. Coal is just a regular dark coal block. And quartz is a nice looking white and generic block. Now we have the types of wood in Minecraft. We have oak, um, spruce, birch, um, you know the rest. Jungle, acacia, and dark oak. But it seems that um, <laughs> looks like uh, this one right here. Which, um, let me guess. This one is spruce, if I'm correct, right? This is spruce. Yes, Mars. This is spruce indeed, and it seems to have like some sort of um clockworking animation. Like if it was like its own sort of tubing in a sense. I mean, um, like right there, like some sort of maybe you can like do something like that if you can kind of turn it in a good way. But um, it looks like some sort of piping mechanism, basically a machinery, and it kind of reminds me of like the scene of Gravity Falls where like Dipper first discover like the Journal Three inside that that mechanical hollow tree. That really was cool seeing the mics, I have to admit. Now we have this one, which is like a perfect looking metal tree right here, like a metal tree trunk. That would actually be cool for like some sort of role play or maybe like S dimension looking place, like where everything's replaced by metal instead of like wood. Grass could be like um, iron, the trees could be made of like um, silver metal ish, like that. That would be really cool. This one looks like, um, it looks like uh, right here. Which one is this? This is jungle. Jungle. Looks like it's made of rocks for some reason. I don't know why. This one sort of looks like normal Esquid, and this one looks very normal. But they all have like the circle sort of like um like pattern right there. They all have like um the the watch. It looks like a watch. Like if you had like an old timey watch and you lifted up like the glass, basically, it looks like this is what you would find. Although the rest look like normal wooden flooring, which um looks very nice as well. Some of them have like fancy um like crafted in like patterns right there, while other ones look like normal wood with bolts. Now we're onto the the heated nether blocks. We have um as you can see, we have um the we have nether rack, glowstone, magma blocks, and we also have um what's that one right there? It is the soul sand, right? Uh, yeah, this is Soul Sand. So, no, this is not Netherrack. This is the Netherrack right here, which looks like the Mammoth Blocks, although the Mammoth looks like it's glowing. But this is Soul Sand. It looks like it's made of meat chunks or something, which is very, very disturbing on a whole nother level. But, um, right there, we got the Glowstone. Shiny, made of, like, little rocks, you know, sort of like the regular one. Next, we're on to the Water Demon Blocks. We have the Prismarine Lantern. Prismarine, Dark Prismarine, and, ooh, this is actually really cool, Marks. This is the, um, uh, which one we have? Prismarine, Dark Prismarine, and we also have, uh, Prismarine Bricks, of course, right there. So, we have the Prism. these are the Prismarine Bricks right here, Marks. I have to say, I actually looked at, like that design. I think Ivalistic Squid would appreciate this one as well. It's like an octopus right there, eight arms, or you could say the Kraken, I guess, like the giant one. That'd be pretty cool. Next, we are on to the other blocks. We have the nether bricks. Um, we have um, the quartz, different quartz. Then we have the different um, purper blocks. And right here, these are... Which ones are these? Sorry, Marks. It's just that I would normally remember all of them. It's just the fact that I'm trying to remember them based on scratch. Some of them look fairly similar, as you can see, like, as you could probably remember. But some of them, like the colors, sometimes change. And I really don't remember these two. Which ones are these? These are... Are these the sandstone ones? I don't think so. Oh, these are the endstone. The endstone, right? If I'm correct. Let me check. 
uh, endstone. Yes, Marx. These are indeed the endstone and endstone bricks right there. And they, these kind of look like hieroglyphics, and these look like um, ancient like bones and ruins, sort of like in a digging site. Very nice. We have wool right there, and we have all the different types of wool, um, terracotta and um, clay and glass, basically. So we have um, different types of wool, different types of. That's not terracotta. Sorry. I think this is um, this is the concrete, right? Yes, this is the concrete. Then we have terracotta. Then right here, uh, wait, let me just make sure, uh, yep, then we have the glass, alright, so, looks like the yellow, so the red, um, the red terracotta has, like, some sort of, like, ancient symbol, I'm not really sure, looks like it's something from Egypt, in a sense, this one has, like, a funky floral pattern, this looks like it's, like, a bunch of, um, plates of metal wielded together by bolts, um, this right here looks like a leather, a kind of green couch, sort of, or armchair, then we have a nice green design, a couple of blues, um, the same one, looks like the, the light blue is the same as the, the red right there. Then, oh, I actually do like the blue right there, like, it's like a four square pattern right there. The, the, the purple is the same as the light blue and red as well. Sort of similar, but not quite the same with magenta right there. We got more rusted metal from the, from the gray, from the, whoa. No, this is pink, actually, that's pink. Actually, it looks, um, it just looked a little bit gray to me because of the brown mixed in. Now we have white. Light gray, which is like a kitchen floor tile. Gray, which is also like, um, wielded metal, just like the yellow over there. All right. And let's see. Is um, then we have, um, nice black floor, floor plant, um, t like tile floor right there. Then this looks like, um, something maybe on a, like a, cr like, not a cruise ship. Sorry. <laughs> no, this is not being a cruise ship. Trust me. It's like a pirate ship or maybe like a barrel. So it looks like, um, some sort of barrel in a sense. And the glass, um, well, the colored glass look like regular, regular glass. All right. Next, we are on to the mushrooms right there. We have the red mushroom, the, um, have the white-ish, then we have the stems right there. Now, we have the minecarts, um, tracks, which I actually, I really do like these. I really, really do like these. These have, like, some sort of redstone, um, sensors, as usual, as it should. Then we have, like, mechanical grinding gear, sort of, maybe to, like, push it forward or turn the wheels forward. That's really cool. Next, we have the armor right there, and the sword looks, um, it kind of looks like a double- Edge saw stuff, it's got like the main blade and a mini one on the side of all of them. Very, very nice. Then we have this one, which is kind of like a walkie-talkie right there. You got like the, the eye holes. Um, then you have like maybe this sort of like walkie-talkie-esque thing connected to the helmet. Kind of looks like it may be rusty a little bit, but that's fine. I'm fine with that. The helmet looks really cool right there. Um, also with the iron armor. The gold looks like, kind of reminds me of Iron Man's armor. Besides like the helmet, kind of reminds me of like um, the... Uh, like that one as well. Some of these right here, like iron, gold, and diamond. That reminds me of the arc reactor he has right there in the middle. And diamond looks like it has some sort of like um, wielding mask to protect yourself from the sparks. And it has that really cool, like, looks like a giant diamond in the middle encrusted into the chest plate. Very nice. And we have the elytra, which uh, kind of looks like bat wings in a sense. Let me see. Uh, let me try it on real quick. Let me just fly around. Uh, yeah, it kind of looks like bat wings made from um, sheets of metal and maybe some leather in a sense that looks very nice And I went high really really fast. I went very high very fast All right, then we have the um, then we have the chest and the chest crafting table furnace Then we ooh, I really like the enchantment table I have to say it looks very good with the blue and the gold especially with the book Then we have the beacon which also looks very nice the um, end portal frames the jukebox, the, oh no, this is, um, the, yeah, this is the jukebox, then we have the note block, then we have the anvil, which, um, looks a little bit rusty, but not too bad, it looks a little more dusty than rusty, or maybe it's a combination of dust and rust, then we have, um, the cauldron, which looks very ancient, in a sense, like Egyptian, then we have the shulker box, which looks purely out of, like, metal wielded, with, um, like, wielded together with some bolts and nuts, looks very, very cool, I have to say, it looks very nice, then we have the brewing stand right there with some water bottles, really nice. The water bottles look very, like, realistic as well. Although, when you look at it like this, it looks like a pure potion. And finally, we have our two liquids, water right there, looking pretty realistic in a sense, if you found this, like, on a, like, a calm ocean. Then we have lava, it looks very, very bright, and very, very dangerous and hot. Oh boy, this, uh, this uh, hurts, uh, yikes, you would, oh uh, much look at this, look at this, I'm breathing fire. Not really, but look, watch this. Bah, bah, da, bah. <laughs> oh dear, I'm just being silly. Sorry about that. All right, let me just um get rid of these two um these things real quick. All right, 
There we go. I like that. I like the so for I like the lava actually. It looks very nice, even though it's a little lighter. So a couple things. I like the trees, how they look very mechanical right there. The ores look splendid as well. I like the um, I especially like like the octopus kraken looking on the prismarine bricks right there. It looks very nice. Um, the pepper blocks and the um shulker box look very nice as metal. Um, like some of the terracotta patterns looks very good. All right, I love the um, I love right here the activator rail. I'm pretty sure this one is right. Oh no, this is the this is the detector rail. This is the activator rail. I I rarely really I rarely ever use those unless it's like for something specific like redstone related. Um, but I really do like them right there. The armors um, especially like the diamond and the gold right there as well. The chest, the ender chest looks very nice. Um, I love the enchantment table. I love the look of, um, this actually looks like a phonograph in a sense, doesn't it, Mines? It kind of looks like a phonograph. Too bad it couldn't make, like, some sort of standing up thing, but that would have been way too complicated. The beacon was nice. The, um, I like the detail on the anvil. The choker box was really cool. The broom stand was magnificent. So, um, top it all off, I really like the ores, the trees, the, the prismarine brick, and the choker box. And, um, those are basically my top fives, and the first one has to be in the enchantment table right there. Very, very nice. Alright, Mike, so it looks like that's the end for the, um, steampunk one. Now, we're gonna go on to the next one. Hello, Mike. We are back once again, as you can see, and now we are on the pattern texture pack. Now, the grass looks, it looks like very nice carpet, if I do say so myself. It doesn't feel like if you walked on this, it would feel grass, like in between your toes and whatnot. It feels like some sort of like really smooth, t like not tiles, like flooring, like carpet in a sense. It it's, it's very nice, I have to say. The grass looks very, very nice. Let me see, how does the dirt look? And it um has like a four um, blockish. Pattern a little, a little bit circular, but, you know, there's no official circles in Minecraft. None. Not even my shadow. It looks like it, but trust me, those are tiny little square pixels, mites. Trust me on that. But, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Enough talking about the grass. Let's get on to the big blocks. Now, I have to say, when I first um, moved in like this, when I saw the camera behind me, I saw these, um, the ore blocks, and I have to say... They look like very much like terracotta blocks right there. So we have um, diamonds and the emeralds look like diamonds and emeralds in general, like in real life in a sense, like a little rectangle squarish, um, obviously. And the diamond looks like a, a diamond, like pure diamond, like in real life. Then we have the, ter then, well, I was going to say terracotta. See, mice? they look very terracotta, especially the diamond, the emerald, the gold, the iron, the redstone, the lapis, the coal, and not really much of the quartz, but... Nonetheless, it does look like sort of some sort of, it kind of, I bet if you put an iron block next to it, I would barely be able to tell the difference besides the iron being probably a little bit more grayish in a sense, like as you can see with the ore. Although this is the iron block. Um, I'm talking about like regular Minecraft or that or another texture pack that I'm trying to remember, but this looks very, very nice. The iron block on the other hand looks very different from regular iron blocks that we've come to know and love. So I do love the, the lapis once again. It looks actually like sort of like different diamonds in a sense too, like diamonds in the sky like um in most tv shows like this is the diamond shape that we all know but this is a real diamond like the ore so the redstone looks very nice as well still has the particle effects as well um the gold looks amazing i love the little um like flower shape is that some something something like a honeycomb in a sense um but overall the ores look very great i especially love the diamond the emerald and the lapis the redstone's pretty cool too. Now the wood, it looks, it sort of reminds me of the um the plastic. Well, not the plastic, no. It sort of reminds me of the cartoon texture pack that we reviewed a while back, kind of like the floor. The the dark oak looks a bit green though. It looks like it's molding. Um, I uh, wouldn't recommend using it, although it does look very nice. I have to say the green does look nice. The acacia, the jungle, um, the acacia especially looks very reddish orange, like if it was like plain wood like this. Like, a oh, regular oak on, like, a sunset. Looks very, very nice. The birch as well. And the spruce. The spruce looks really cool. Blue right there, I have to say. So, the wood looks very nice with the color changes. We got some, a little bit of, um, kind of, like, um, well, regular birch. But a little bit more yellow. Then we also have, um, right here, the jungle, which is a bit more brown and orange. Has some, um, a little bit of pink and red. But, um, then dark oak has green. We got pink, sunset. Then we have blue. So, the wood, the ores very nice mod starting strong off right now i have to say next we have netherrack which actually looks very cool it's got a funky little pattern like that like some sort of digital-esque looking like some sort of like matrix movie so san very creepy as usual gotta say um the digital like um effect right there 
Very creepy, but nonetheless very cool. Right, that Ma glowstone looks amazing, I have to say. It kind of reminds me of, like, end portal frames, like, with, like, these being the Eyes of Ender inside. Very nice. Then we have the magma block, which is really nice looking. Um, the rooks has some sort of, like, um... Some sort of like cartoon esque um, look to it, but the and it looks like the magma is changing from yellow to orange to pink in sense. So very nice like that. Especially like um, I especially like the glowstone and the netherrack. Next one to the walnut blocks. We have the prismarine lantern, prismarine itself. Then we have the bricks and we have the dark prismarine. Now unlike the other ones, um, where um the prismarine bricks had the squid or as I like to say um the um kraken. <laughs> That's the Kraken um, design. Next, instead, it's changed over to the Dark Prismarine, and it's got the um, Guardian right here. Not the other Guardian. It looks like just a regular Guardian. So I have to say, very nice, because you know in regular Minecraft, the Sandstone, the Red Sandstone, right there, the, uh, which one is it called? It's called the um, Chiseled Sandstone. It has, like, the Creeper face, which actually does cre um, keep, and the Wither right there. So, who knows? Maybe this could give us some more insight onto, like, the, the type of blocks we're actually using every now and then. Next we have um the net we have the nether brick and the red nether brick. Then we have the end stones, the purple blocks, and we have which one is that again? Uh it's on the tip of my tongue. It's uh the quartz, the quartz. How do I always forget the quartz? Alright, I have to say that the bricks look pretty cool. We got the net uh, regular nether bricks, although they're not as dark red, like super crimson dark red. They're a little purple right there, but the red nether brick is purely red right there. A little bit of brown, a little bit of pink, but nonetheless, you got some shades of red in there. Then you have the uh, the end stone right here as well. Very nice. Instead of like the creamy yellow white color, we have a little bit of like what seems to be um, prismarine. A little off, I'd say. Like side by side, you can see like this is more like pebble infused, and this is more like a clean version. Basically, it's like they tur they turned it from like pebbles to pure bricks right there. So very very nice. I'd say very do like it. Um, the quartz. Nice looking, very much. I like the, the, the pattern right there. This looks like some sort of, like, prison bunker where you would, like, slide it open, in a sense. Then you got the purple blocks. Look a little bit like, um... How do I say it? It's kind of like, it's kind of like aged over time, or maybe something like certain like rocks or pebbles sticking out if you're sliding your hand across it. Like, it looks smooth, but when you bump into it, you see, like, oh, they got some rocks, like, infused with it. Next, we're on to the wool and color box. So the wool is, it's not white anymore. It looks um, either very dusty and old, or it is now just turning brown, apparently. Now we have the red, the orange, yellow, lime green, etc. As you can see right there. Now the glasses look, it looks like they have their own individual patterns a little bit as well. We have the red, the orange, which sort of looks like the um, the quartz right there, the the different quartz. Then we have this one, which looks like the um, honeycomb. Well, not really honeycomb. I just say that because it's like a six. But it's got like the pattern right there. And I did see that right there on which one I saw it. Yeah, right there on the magenta. So we got a couple like patterns repeating from different texture packs, it seems, as well. All right. Um, the blue, very nice. Kind of like a diamond shape again. Um, once again, if you look really, really close, got like that honeycomb um, six um diamond sort of pattern right there the red and the cyan look very nice i really do like the cyan i feel like that'd be a really really like cool um feature of your building in this texture pack with like um the end stone and the prismarine very nice i'll keep it like a blue green cyan combined right there like turquoise very nice so there we go mites you got all of them the um let me just see it looks like um hmm let's see so we got the terracotta some of them look a little bit different than others, but it looks like for the majority, it is it is kept the same. Very nice. This looks like a winter sort of leaf design. All right. I like the blue once again, the diamonds and the little circles. The gray looks very nice too, and the black looks amazing. But right here, we have the um, we have the concrete, which uh, looks like hard rough concrete instead of the smooth, like, newly fresh pavement. So, might need to add a steamroller Minecraft in this one. Next we have um, the mushrooms right there. We got the we got the red mushrooms and its stems right there, and the brown mushroom. I think I accidentally called it white by accident. Sorry, um, it's red and brown. And then we have the stems right there. Once again, we have the uh, mine contracts. Very nice. A little bit um, I like the edges, but it looks like this right here looks like it might break apart pretty easily. Um, the power rail I'd say it looks very nice. The detector rail, the activator looks very nice. Um, the regular one I probably like um. Probably like the activating detector better. The powered rail, very nice. Um, I'm, I'm okay with this one. I'm okay with, um, I, I, I kind of wish they had it boss like these. Like you have bars right there, like to uh, really connect it and right down the power and the, um, 
detector rail, right? Um, activate it. Detector, activator, detector, activator. All right. Just gotta remember, reverse the alphabet right there. D and A, not A and D. All right. And uh, I like the regular one, but I feel like it could have done like with the boss too. Like this one has like a sort of flowery design, but it's very, very nice looking. I have to say. Next, we're on to the armor, which seems to be. It looks like a gingerbread to me, honestly. It kind of looks like a gingerbread. Now we have some sort of party outfit, I guess. I have no idea what most of these are. Another party outfit, maybe like a Chinese restaurant, sort of, if you mix it with a clown. Then you have like a very nice shiny golden yellow suit of armor right there. Then we have this one, which these clothes look like they'd be from Rio, like the like the place, country, um, Escaria, Rio. Never been there, but it, I've seen some of the designs of clothing. It looks like some of these places might appreciate that. And now we are on to the Elytra once again. So it looks like dragon scales, honestly, or some sort of like really nice looking bird, honestly. I have to say it looks very, very nice. Okay, so there we go. We got a good look of like the edges as you can see, Mike. So there we go, right there one more time. Alright, so it looks like scales or some sort of, um, like, feather designs. Like, maybe a bunch of feathers stuck together. Nonetheless, it looks very, very nice. Alright, and now we are on to the last couple things. We have the chest. Very normal. The under chest, which looks very cool once again, like, with the, um, crisp marine and, and stone style. Crafting table. Alright, it's got a nice decorative, um, cloth. Got the furnace. Looks like you can smell two things now, even though it just shows one. Alright, and now we have the enchantment table. Looks very nice. The beacon looks very cool. Um, once again, end pull design. Looks like the end and the prismarine are kind of com are combining in a sense of this section pack. I got the jukebox, the note box. The jukebox has like um, a giant mixtape right there and some buttons right there. Very, very cool. Then we have the anvil looking pristine and shiny and full of iron as usual. Then we have the cauldrons. Very nice. And then we have the last few blocks. The last four. We have the purple box. Looks exactly like, um, um, I mean, the purple block, the shulker block. It's basically nearly the same, like, design and colors. Got, um, the sort of, like, hard, um, like, smoothish look with a little bit of pebble sticking out. Then we have some bottles of water. Looks similar to the regular Minecraft water bottles, as you can see. The outside, it still looks the same. Just looks like fruit punch, um, or berry punch, I guess. I prefer berry punch. Next, and the finally... We have water right there. Very nice. Looks like very clean water, I have to say. Although it looks very foggy. I can't really even... I can't even see my body, honestly. That's a little bit weird. I mean, it looks clean, but it's very foggy. Hmm. Might have to sort that out. And now we have lava, which actually does not look too terrifying at a glance, but... Oh, whoa! Wow, whoa. look at the fire. It's like fireworks right there. Look at the lava. That is... I have to say, this is really cool. I have to say, the fire, the fire effects look very, very nice. Alright, so to top it off on this texture pack, Mites, um, I have to say that, um, sorry, my throat's a little bit, um, dry right now, because it's very hot. Um, ores and the trees, I especially love the trees once again. Um, the prismarine blocks and the, um, the nether rack, and once again, we have the, um, what is it, um, the glowstone, I have to say glowstone, wood, um, prismarine, um, very, very nice, and stone, very, very cool. Um, the, the tracks I'm a big fan of, maybe, um, not as much as the normal track, but these three really pulled it off, but I do like the fourth one, um, nonetheless, it's the original, I shall have you know, and the chest, um, let's see, the beacon was pretty cool, um, and portal frame as well, um, and that's about it, and then finally the lava, the lava, the effects just look so cool, like, it doesn't look that terrifying, looks like, um, the water, but, like, like, a little bit differently colored with some, like, different effects, like, bubbles popping out, but the effects like this, like, fireworks, this is, like, fit for real right there, but, my anyways, that is the end of the video, hopefully you all enjoyed the series, it's not over yet, but it seems that we might be out of texture packs officially for the Xbox One edition, the PS4, any other editions all around, basically, so that means we have to go into the new Minecraft. It looks that way. We might be back once again, but it seems that way on my list. But anyways, that's enough for now. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please give it a like and subscribe. And yes, I will see you all later. Later, guys.